What's happening on January 15th through 20th? We're, we're concerned now at, at this particular time that uh, Obama is showing, he's revealing underneath yes. the disguise. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, for the last eight years, Obama has been very bad for Israel. And uh, you could see it from the beginning. The first phone call he gave was given to Mahmoud Abbas. Uh, if you watch what he said in Cairo a few months later, uh, you could see that uh, it was the same way of speaking uh, than the way of speaking used by the Muslim Brotherhood. And uh, you could see that he did address to the Ummah, not to Egyptians. And uh, Mubarak uh, could see it. He said it. He said that it was, he was very anxious. And he was right to be anxious because a few months later, the Muslim Brotherhood did take the power in Cairo. And uh, I think that Obama was very good for radical Islam uh, for the last eight years and very bad for Israel. He mistreated Israel many, many times. I did write many articles about it, yeah. and uh, when I did speak about it to, to French Jews, for example, or European Jews, many of them didn't pay attention. They said to me, no, he is not so bad. Now they see, but I started to say it eight years ago. If you watch carefully, you uh -huh. can see that uh, Obama uh, was uh, anti-Semite, actually, mm -hmm. in many, many ways. In, in the past. Uh, as many anti-Semites, he, he, he rely on some good Jews, leftist Jews that are anti-Semite themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, or anti-Zionist. Anti uh, mm -hmm. Like J Street? Uh, yes, yes, but uh, I could say that uh, if, if you look carefully, these people are anti-Semite. And, and in any way, in order to, to vote what was voted uh, at uh, the United Nations, and to accept that, because when you abstain, you accept. Uh -huh. And uh, uh -huh. it, it's a text that says that East Jerusalem, including the old city of Jerusalem, is Palestinian territory. So it, uh, it's a negation of uh, the presence but is of it accurate? Jews. Is it accurate? Yes, yes. It's no, no, I'm saying it, the, the, is the allegation that the UN passed, the resolution, yes. is it true that, that these t territories uh, uh, now suddenly, uh, none of the, the history of uh, Balfour, uh, San Remo, all the le legitimate, yes. uh, and mm. si of course we're talking about 67, post-67, uh, the international law, uh, it, establishing these territories as disputed and up for uh, Oslo negotiations, all this is just uh, invalid? Yes, yes, uh, that's what was said. And uh, according to me, it's even worse than that, because if you look at what uh, the so-called Palestinian Authority, in fact the PLO and our new name, uh, says about these areas mm -hmm. is that you never had a Jewish presence there. So uh, the Kotel, uh, the, the Western Wall, uh, isn't, for them is not Jew. You have never had a Jewish temple there. For them, uh, the uh, Western Wall is the wall where Muhammad uh, did attach Burak, uh, the horse with which uh, he, he rides to, to the sky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, so it has never been Jewish. You had uh -huh. never uh -huh. Jewish presence there. Uh -huh. And if you read what is written uh, in uh, the resolution of December 23rd, uh, it's what it said. It said it's Palestinian territory, uh -huh. so it belongs to Palestinians, so it belongs to the Palestinian Authority, uh -huh. so it belongs to people who say, no, there was never a Jewish presence there. Uh -huh. So it's really, I could say, a kind of negationist text. Uh, because it supports terrorists, it supports people who falsify history, and it's really a shame. And uh, it's a shame to see that Obama accepted this text. It's a shame to see that Samantha Power, uh, the ambassador of uh, Obama at the United Nations, accepted the text. It's a shame to see that John Kerry accepted the text. And it's a shame to see that on uh, January 15th, you would have... Uh, Janu January 15th coming up next Monday. Yeah, yes. Uh, you would have a, a meeting in Paris uh, with uh, 
70 states, mostly Muslim states and uh, mm. Demi states, uh, that will be there. And uh, they will uh, say bad things about Israel. And uh, I'm afraid they will say, uh, we ask for the creation of a Palestinian state in these so-called borders of 1967. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Are you uh, uh, UN it, resolution? Uh, yes. And, uh, uh -huh. and from the Paris conference? Yes. I'm and sorry, I, I, I said the 15th I, is, mon is Monday. It's actually Sunday. Yes, They're yes. meeting on Sunday. But then, then Obama only has uh, five days left in yes, office. Yes, And uh, you could have a new resolution at the United Nations saying we recognize the Palestinian state in the borders of uh, 1967. And uh, in such a case, the, this state would be created, would be a member of the United Nations, mm -hmm. and uh, Israel would be considered as a in state. Violation. Uh, yes, as a state uh, who occupy another state uh -huh. and, uh, as, and would uh, be a, uh, as a lawless state. And deserving of sanctions from, yeah, yeah, from yeah. the global community? Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. But for someone who isn't Jewish like yourself, yes. Or, like the viewers who may be watching now, why should that matter what happens to Israel, that a Palestinian state? Why should that matter to someone who isn't Jewish? Uh, uh, because I think that uh, if you look at the history, uh, in the 19th century uh, you had a strong movement saying uh, people have to have their own state and to liberate themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was accepted for every people on earth except for Jews. Uh -huh. So I don't uh -huh. like when you see that it's accepted for everyone on earth except uh -huh. for Jews. Because you, uh, see it, you see it as an injustice. Yes, exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. And uh, beside that I could say that Israel is a free country. In Israel you have 20% of the population uh, who is made of Muslims. So uh, the only place in the Middle East where uh, Christians are free and where Muslims are free also is Israel. And uh, to see that the rest of the world is ready to do its best mm -hmm. to destroy Israel is a shame. Uh, because if you look at what the, the Palestinian Authority is, you see that it's a totalitarian organization, you see that it's a terrorist organization, and seeing that the world is ready mm -hmm. to uh, push for the destruction of a democracy in order to give power uh, to totalitarian and terrorists uh -huh. is really a shame and it would be a precedent. Uh, it would push many uh, terrorists and uh, radical Muslims to say, ah, we, if we can destroy Israel, we can go further and uh, we can destroy Europe and uh, uh -huh. we shall conquer Europe. And uh, very often when I was in Israel giving lectures, uh, many people said to me, uh, after the Saturday people mm -hmm. will come the day of the, the Sunday Muslims, people. The Arab saying. Uh, and yes, it was an Arab saying. And uh, I think that you... After the you Saturday people meaning... Uh, Jews. On s the people who keep Sabbath on Saturday. Yes, exactly. Then we go after the people who keep Sunday. Who's that? Uh, Christians. But this uh, is their intention. Yes, exactly. To conquer exactly. both places. Exactly. Islam is like that. Uh -huh. And uh, you would have to pay attention. Uh, many people in Europe say, oh, if we abandon Israel, um, Muslims and the radical Muslims will be satisfied and they will leave us alone. That's not true. Mm -hmm. And uh, you were speaking about the track that hit, uh, that was used by terrorists uh, to kill people yeah. in Jerusalem a few days ago. But uh -huh. you could see that the people used cars to do it many times uh -huh. in Israel in the past. Uh -huh. And yeah, uh, yeah. when it did happen, I said to people in Europe, it will happen in Europe too, you will see. And they said, no, 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 it's, it's, it will not happen. And you could see what did happen in Nice mm -hmm. in last summer. Mm -hmm. A big truck uh, hit many mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And uh, you could see what did happen in Berlin. It uh -huh. was the same. And uh, what did happen in Jerusalem um, uh, a few days ago uh, looked like what did happen in Berlin and what did happen in Nice. So we are all together in the same fight. Mm -hmm. On one side, you have the West, you have civilization, you have open societies, you have freedom, you have liberty, you have democracy. On the other side, you have totalitarians and terrorists. And if you don't understand that, you will be defeated by totalitarians and terrorists.